Well, hello and welcome to another edition of the Stogie Review Video Review, uh, the Short Ashes Edition. I am Walt White, here once again to do one of these uh, brief, very condensed cigar reviews as opposed to the uh, the traditional review which I do uh, that lasts between like 26 and 30 minutes. Um, the reason why I'm doing one of these Short Ashes reviews on a day that I typically do the long review is that I'm not completely prepared to, uh, to do a full-blown review. As you can tell by looking at the video, I've got a different setup going. I'm still struggling with the lighting. I'm not quite sure what I like, uh, what I'm, what I need to do to make uh, everything work out the way I want to. And uh, I've been getting some things in in random order. Uh, I don't have any tapes for this camcorder. I'm hoping that everything streams and saves to the PC just fine, or actually to the Mac just fine. And uh, I don't have to go back and redo anything. Uh, I really like to do everything on tape, but in this situation I have no tape and uh, I'm completely out of t mini DVs for my other camcorder and it really didn't make sense to go out and buy some uh, just to do one review when I had the new camcorder to do the review with so without any further ado I am doing the Don Pepin Garcia uh, black label which is the Cuban classic uh, this is a Bellicoso I believe and uh, I'm not quite sure the number designation that goes along with it it's been quite a while since I did uh, the review on this cigar, but uh, it's one of the ones that I smoked very frequently for quite some time, and then just they just sort of faded away, and I haven't touched them since. Uh, I bought a box and I was buying singles from my local shop. Uh, my local shop stopped bringing them in because they were slow to sell, and then as soon as my box ran out, I just never picked any more up. So uh, that's why I'm not smoking them nearly as much as I was. Uh, I did get a 10-pack from Cigars International a couple months ago, and I went through all 10, and, you know, I really, I, I didn't like those cigars nearly as much as I did ones I was buying before. So I don't know whether the, the blend's been tweaked a little bit or not, and uh, to be completely transparent, this is not anything that was made very recently. This has actually been in my humidor for probably over a year, and... Uh, it's one that was sent to me in uh, in a gift package from a member on Club Stogie quite a while back. So it may it may seem a little different than, than what's currently available. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get the cigar lit. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about this lighter, and uh, this lighter is more or less a creme brulee torch with Rocky Patel's name on it. Uh, I got this from Famous Smoke Shop quite a while ago uh, as part of their their vintage 1990 sampler, which was basically buy a five pack of Rocky Patel Vintage 1990 and get a free pocket torch. I think uh, it was like $30 with shipping at the time. And I really wanted the lighter, even though I didn't really care for the cigars, I ordered it so that I could get the lighter and give the cigars another try. Uh, Racket Patel currently has uh, another torch like this, only it's much smaller. This one's fairly large, and uh, I don't know whether you can make it out, but it says Rocky Patel Vintage Collection on it. And uh, really, that's all there is to it, nothing fancy. Uh, if, you, if you go to like Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, Target, some uh, like a department store, you should be able to find these relatively for relatively cheap. Um, it's more or less just a creme brulee torch, which takes uh, butane. Uh, on to the cigar. Uh, I've got it lit. I haven't taken a draw on it yet, but it seems to be burning very well, uh, burning evenly. Uh, the the burn line itself, it's a little heavy, but you know, from torching, I expect it to, to do that. Uh, veins are there's one really. Uh, the rest are very tiny. One medium-sized vein. You can feel it as I run my finger over it. Uh, cigar feels firm and uh, draws very well and right away I get that uh, that nice zing that goes through the sinus and uh, gives you a, a little bit of a stinging sensation I, that's one of the things I love about this cigar it's got a very fresh crisp sort of finish to it and uh, right from the start it's doing just just what I wanted it to do. 
So with that said, I'm going to take my first little break here. I'll be back. Uh, get started on the first third and see how the Don Bean Garcia Black Label Cuban Classic goes. So sit tight. Well, I am back. It's been, I really don't know, 25, maybe 30 minutes now. And uh, just before I turned the camera back on, uh, I had my nice long ash fall all over the front of me. But uh, aside from that, it, it's doing fairly well. Uh, burn line's a little funky. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on that. Or not. Well, anyway, uh, as you can probably make out through the fuzzy picture, uh, burn line's a little funky. Uh, it's not totally out, out of whack. Uh, it, it's right on the cusp of my, my tolerance, and it looks like it's beginning to even back out. Uh, the burn line looks a little dry. Uh, it's It's got a little bit of blistering going on, but really nothing that, that, that has me too concerned. Sometimes the blisters tend to get a little big and then they split and they, they pe sort of peel the wrapper back. Uh, this one looks fairly strong. I'm not seeing any, any tearing or popping or anything like that. So all is well as far as uh, the burn line goes. Or it's good enough, I suppose I should say. Uh, aside from the ash falling all over me, uh, it's compact. It's fairly strong. Uh, I wasn't getting any flaking or flowering, the ash just sort of plopped off. Uh, the body is medium to full. Finish is, uh, it's very crisp and and spicy. I, I really like the, the sensation that I get out of the cigar when I retrohale the smoke. When I pull the smoke back and up and out my sinuses. Uh, it, it, it's just, uh, it, it's it's got a very crisp, clean, spicy, tingly sensation that, that, that I really like. And, and this cigar, it's, it's very unique in this cigar. I don't get it out of a whole lot of others. And uh, it's probably why I enjoy this, this cigar so much. The flavors are, are very rich. It's mostly like a straight up Corojo flavor. But the, the finish and everything that I get through the sinuses is what puts the cigar over the top for me. You know, I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, aside from the Corojo flavor, I'm getting a little bit of an earthy flavor and maybe a little bit of a nutty flavor, but um, that's about it. Uh, the cigar is just very heavily spiced and, and I'm really enjoying it. I haven't had to do any touch-ups. The cigar has been burning well. Uh, the the burn rate seems about average. Um, I, I don't feel like I'm I'm smoking it fast, and uh, the the volume of smoke is fantastic. Uh, it doesn't take much effort. I'm getting a, a full mouthful of smoke, and uh, it, it's dense, flavorful. It's uh, all in all, it's just a very good cigar to start. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back, and uh, I'll take a look at the second third and see if the Don Pepin Garcia Black Label Cuban Classic uh, continues to impress, so sit tight. Well, welcome back. I'm uh, into the second third of my Don Pepin Garcia Cuban Classic Black Label, and uh, I've got to say it's it's going very well. I'm, I'm really enjoying the cigar. I, I just wish that that last 10 pack I got would have been this good for whatever reason. I don't know whether uh, maybe they dried out a little bit during shipment. Maybe the blend was tweaked a little bit, but they just weren't this rich and they weren't quite this enjoyable. But uh, the flavor, it's uh, its mostly like a heavy Corojo flavor, but it's very smooth and rich. It's got sort of a creamy texture to it. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of an earthy flavor, uh, a little bit of nuts. And uh, the spice that I enjoy so much through the sinuses is, is fantastic. It's my favorite part of the cigar, and it's why I why I smoked these so much in the past it was just for that clean, refreshing, crisp sort of finish that that came through the sinuses. It was just very enjoyable, and uh, it's sort of a shame that I, that box ran out, and I really didn't buy them anymore. And then I got a, a ten pack and. It just wasn't quite the same. I don't know whether my taste changed a little bit, and and now they're reverting back to what they were. But you know, I'm really enjoying this cigar. 
Uh, I had to touch it up once. It was beginning to go out on me. I was a little too involved with Twitter. So I had to hit the cigar with a little flame. Uh, you know, it only took a second or two and we're right back in business. I'm getting loads of smoke. Uh, draw is deliberate. Doesn't take much effort and I've got a mouthful. Uh, the, the burn rate seems about average. It's been about a half an hour since I talked to you last. And uh, the ash is light in color. It's firm, compact. Uh, holds on for a little over an inch and then it just drops with with just a gentle tap. So far, the cigar is going very well. I'm very happy with it. So uh, that about does it for the second third. Sit tight. I'll be back for the final third. I'll wrap up the cigar and let you be on your way. Well, welcome back. I'm uh, down to the final third of my Don Pepin Garcia Black Label, the Cuban classic. And uh, uh, the burn line is no longer wavy. Uh, smoke rate seems good. It's been another half an hour since I talked to you last, so I'm looking at about an hour and a half total, which is uh, pretty good for this particular cigar. For whatever reason, I tend to smoke these a little bit faster just because I like them so much. Uh, even even with my slightly elevated smoking rate, uh, cigar stays cool. Uh, I'm not getting that warm or heat across the palate or on my fingers. It's it's very comfortable to smoke, even as it gets down short. The flavors seem to to pick up a little bit. They they get a little more complex, uh, a little more rich, and overall it makes for a very nice cigar, especially when you account in that, that very nice crisp spiciness that, that comes through on the retrohale. Uh, some of the more defined flavors I'm getting out of the cigar are just a very rich natural Corojo tobacco flavor. Uh, I'm still getting a little bit of a, a nutty flavor and a, an earthy base. Uh, the, the finish is smooth, crisp as I said. The body is medium to full and uh, I'm smoking, it's, it's 5.30 now. Now I haven't had dinner yet so the cigar isn't too much for a little earlier on in the day. Uh, it may, it's probably a little too much for me, say late morning, early afternoon. Sort of as the day, you know, uh, wears on. This cigar is definitely one that I would pick up. Uh, as far as whether or not I would buy it again, uh, absolutely. Uh, if if the uh, if the newer batches of cigars are, are nearly as good as this one, I'll most definitely pick them up. Uh, it's just a little tough seeing as my local cigar shop doesn't carry them and my experience with uh, the, the bundled 10 pack I got from Cigars International it, it just wasn't as good as I remembered them being so I'll have to give uh, give them another chance maybe through someone like uh, Atlantic they had fantastic prices the last time I checked and as a matter of fact I got uh, my last box of Don Pepin Garcia Cuban Classics uh, the Perla size which is a 4x40 for a ridiculously low price, so I'll have to, to give Atlantic a call and, and see if I, maybe I'll put an order in and, and see just how they go. Uh, all, all in all, you know, I really enjoyed the cigar and uh, I definitely re recommend trying them if you've never tried them before. And uh, if it's been a little while since you had one, you know, give one a shot. You may find that uh, it's just as good as it was before, you know, before when you had it. So uh, that about does it for the Cuban classics. So uh, until next week, happy smoking.